pipe. I, um, I've started a new project from this book. It's called um, Shaped Beadwork and Beyond by Diane Fitzgerald. And it, it has to do with um, mainly peyote stitch, different, you know, different types, but it's not the traditional, um, it's not the traditional shapes. And uh, I've tried it out, started beating again. Feels pretty good. Um, this is, you know, of course, a star. This was my first one. There's, you know, there's a mistake. But this is almost, it's purple, purple and white, purple and pearlesque white, and uh, I'm starting the second one now. I'm thinking of, I was just going to do like, a, um, they show a necklace, and uh, they show a necklace, you know, and they're all the same color. And I was thinking of doing that, you know, with the purple and the white. And then I was like, well, what if I used all of them? And then made like blue, and then I have green delicas, and then I have red delica, and I even have orange. I don't know, I even have yellow delica that I could use. You could make like a springish type um, necklace. What do you think, Melissa? I don't know. Anyway, I like it. And the next thing I'm going to do on it, on this book, it's really cool. They're called Tamari Beads. And it's actually the same thing as this. But it instead of doing a five-row triangle, you do a four-row. And then it cups really very much. And then you put another you make five, and then you make another five, and then you put them together, and then you join them, you zip them up like that. So I'm going to try that. Um, I just, I think it's awesome. And then, and then the, um, yeah, they have, oh, and a chevron pendant. Actually, that looks more like a Star of David than it looks like a chevron, but I see the chevron within the Star of David. I don't, I don't know. So that's the beading stuff. Um, with two... Went to the animal park and had a great time. Absolutely had a great time. Um, was so mesmerized by the um, the camel. I liked the camel. Uh, his his muzzle was so soft. It was amazing how soft it was. And um, uh, the BF and my grandson. Um, my grandson, of course, was just over the moon there. He he wants to go again every weekend. And um, which is nice. I'm glad he likes it. Uh, the wagon ride was an hour, and um, they gave you a a pretty good sized bowl of food. Um, you know, like animal pellets that all the animals could eat. And um, they had this Watusi bull, and they had horns coming out of his head. Must have been at least the horns must have been at least three to four feet long. And then, you know, the width of them, it was, they looked rather, um, rather odd, but uh, they were pretty cool. Um, some of the reviews that I had read before I, I went um, had me a little worried because I said the animals were skinny, the flies were horrible, the smell was terrible, uh, the people were very rude, and that was what I was concerned of most of all because I was taking my grandson, and I didn't want any kind of rudeness that, you know, I don't respond well to that. So anyway, uh, I was a little concerned. Nothing could be further from the truth. These people were so nice. The wagon ride, uh, the guy who um, was Amish, and they are, um, they're not like all over you friendly, but, you know, um, he was very personable, and he answered questions. He really liked to answer questions. He really liked that. There was this one woman there who... Um, she uh, took it upon herself to um, engage this guy with all kinds of questions, which was good, you know, because he, you know, was um, busily answering her questions, and then we were able to do whatever we wanted. Um, there were other kids there 
And um, they must have come from the city because they were just blown away as far as deer go. You know, I mean, uh, bison and stuff like that, I can understand, but just regular deer. Um, and they had lots of that. So, and llamas and alpacas and stuff. Uh, the smell, not so much. I mean, we went in the morning, of course, and it wasn't, it was before the heat of the day. And, you know, every, it, before, you know, there were tons of wagons feeding these poor things, you know. So, um, the only smell that was, that I, you know, um, was at the actual petting zoo. Um, they had, um, the petting zoo right as you got off and they had little ducklings that they could hold and, um, pet and, uh, little kids, you know, um, baby goats. And, um, there were supposed to be some rabbits somewhere, but we didn't see those. And, um, we had seen a baby camel that we thought was dead, but they assured us that it wasn't. It was just sleeping. And um, they had um, pot belly pigs, little baby pot belly piglets, and they wouldn't let us touch those, which is, I'm sort of glad because those were so small. And Lucian was dropping the, the duckling like nobody's business. Um, but the smell there was, was very intense of manure. But you, there was no... Um, piles of it. I, I I was looking around f trying to figure out where this, where they were, you know, keeping it, but I, I couldn't find anything. And um, the ground where we were at in the pens, they were all clean. Um, they had clean straw, they had clean wood or wood chips, uh, you know, because little kids are going to be kneeling and, you know, falling and stuff like that. And um, so Lucian had a great time. He didn't want to leave. It was me who I hadn't eaten since I think it was like 6 or 7 a.m. and the smell and it was really it was starting to get hot so I was like I've had enough you know we need to go and I need to get something neat so we went to um Der Dutchman restaurant in Sugar I think it's in Walnut Creek I don't think it's in Sugar Creek I think it's Walnut Creek absolutely delicious food I love eating there I try to eat there every time I go down to Holmes County in Ohio that's where the biggest uh, concentration of um, Amish uh, settlement is, I guess, in Ohio. And uh, I was going to take BF to Lehman's, which we went right past. It was, it's it's an awesome, awesome hardware store. Um, but, uh, you know, we were trying to get me fed. So I need to eat on a schedule because I get rather cranky if I don't eat. So that's how that weekend went. This weekend, I'm waiting for my um, son to pick me up. And my son and daughter-in-law, my um, my daughter and the grandsons are going to my niece's um, graduation party. She graduated from high school last uh, week, and uh, so today is the party. So that's going to be, you know, lots of uh, lots of food. Well, there's going to be food, and um, hopefully a good time. So that's what's on tap for today. Tomorrow is church, and uh, gym stuff, normal, normal uh, Sunday stuff. I uh, worked overtime all week this week because my boss was on vacation and I was taking over for him. So it's been a really long week. I'm very glad it was Saturday. I had to take my dog to the vet today to get his yearly um, booster shot of distemper and parvo. And um, we had to get our six-month supply of um, heartworm medicine and all the flea stuff, you know, flea and tick stuff, because, uh, you know, we live, well, flea and tick stuff. Um, so anyway, my vet said that he was finding that um, th it wasn't working so well on the ticks, uh, the flea and tick medicine. It's not strong enough, or um, BF had mentioned that maybe the um, ticks are getting immune and, and he fully agreed that that might be happening. So um, he gave me some stuff in a, a tactic, I think he called it, tactic. I'm supposed to put one tablespoon in a gallon of water. And that's a lot of stuff. But anyway, if um, Coco gets a tick on him, I'm to, you know, uh, put it on a Q-tip, this tactic solution put it where by the um, skin where the uh, head of the tick is buried and it, I guess it will back it right back out plus this tactic stuff was like an uh, ill 
kind of septic or something like that. So um, if so, I dosed him now, and he's I think he's he's sleeping. Um, so that's about that. Um, oh, I uh, got a new book from the library. It's about um, Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great, uh, you know, the Tsarina of Russia. She doesn't sound like such a hot person if you ask me. She sounds like sort of a snot, but uh, there was something that caught my interest there. Um, nothing else much going on. Uh, so um, I see that Stacy's internet is down, so I don't know who would watch. Uh, I finally went ahead and subscribed again to CTFCX or whatever that is. I don't know what about what it is about that kid, but his smile is infectious. I like his smile. I like his voice. And um, he doesn't seem to be, you know, and of course that could be a total lie, but he doesn't seem to be too offensive as far as, you know, a young, young, youngish person goes. And um, he seems to be living the life. So that's about it with the internet stuff. Um, haven't really watched anything. We went and seen um, Godzilla, which I think I said last week. That was a pretty good movie. My sister wants to go see the X Men movie, but I don't know when that's going to happen. And it's like, so I'm not really rushing to see that, you know? It's okay. Anyway, um, that's about it. Oh my gosh, it was like 11 minutes. You have a great weekend.